Hi, how are you? Uh, my name is Ben Whalen. I'm with the Kennedy Case Watershed Restoration Committee. Uh, it's August 9th today. It's a little less than two weeks since our uh, volunteer activity uh, 2012 Water and Willows event where we had volunteers install piscine bundles uh, along a damaged river bank on the Millstream River, uh, which is behind me here. Uh, what's really impressive about this is even though it's less than two weeks since then, uh, we're already starting to see some willows sprouting up, and uh, it's really cool that in a couple of, year, couple of years' time, these will all be mature and uh, really provide some good shade to this river, which you can see at this point um, is open to the sun and, and, uh, and, and to the eroding stream bank. Uh, our crews right now are working at uh, completing this bank, and, and in a couple of weeks' time, probably the, the same bundles that we're installing today will also be sprouting up like the ones here in front of you. Um, what we did here uh, with the fascine bundles is we actually took willow cuttings, uh, a lot of what we call willow whips, and uh, you can see some of the w long willow whips up on that section there. And uh, those willow whips are then bundled together, a stake goes down through them to hold them in place, uh, and the willows uh, will then actually take root. And uh, you're seeing some of the rooting uh, take place right here. For instance, that's, that's uh, the, the, the start of a willow root there. And, and there's, there's the tree, or there's the old root, and there's the, the new growth coming off of that, off of that whip. Uh, and there's a number of those already along a, a lot of this here. Um, here's an example right here, some really good prosperous growth off of the, off of the seam bundle. And what you do is, as when we place the piscine bundles, we put a trench in, and uh, the trench is then you place your piscine bundle in, and you'd step it back, and here's a second step here, and we've got a third step up over here that uh, continues the, the bank restoration. This growth will uh, impede any further erosion of the bank, and hopefully also keep back any overland flow, uh, sediment flow from rainfall events. Uh, so as you can see, uh, what we discussed earlier was a finished product. Here the crew is putting in some seam bundles. They've dug a trench across already, uh, and now they're burying, uh, partially burying the, the stalk so that it remains moist. Uh, and uh, basically, throughout the site, we use what's here. Uh, we don't try to bring in any extra material. We're using what's here. Uh, the only thing that we've brought in, I guess, would be the willow stalk that we use. Uh, and a lot of this willow stalk has come from either the Millstream River or definitely within the Canada Cases watershed. Uh, so you can see Eamon down at the far end, uh, he's uh, way Eamon, he's, uh, he's digging a trench down there, uh, and Chelsea's digging a trench as well, and then uh, uh, Bass and Jill are coming along and installing the bassoon by the one behind them. So, um, also, one of the things that we have to do in order to get the permit to do this project, obviously, is we have to show that we're controlling any silt, uh, so you can see the floating silt curtain as well, and you can see that, yeah, there's some silt there in the front, uh, but none of the silt is actually escaping into the natural system and flowing downstream. So. Obviously, one of, the, one of the next questions that you ask is, uh, what are the benefits of this work that we're doing? Um, the degraded stream, stream bank that you see behind me uh, introduces unwanted sediment or an abundance of sediment and uh, nutrients into the system. Uh, also, because the stream banks aren't providing any shade to the river, stream temperatures, which have been identified in our 1994 habitat assessment as being an issue within this watershed, tend to rise above, you know, uh, uh, preferred temperatures for, for brook trout and other salmonids. So once this vegetation starts to grow, uh, the benefit would be obviously a reduction in stream temperatures, more shade, and therefore more habitat and even food for the trout that are present in the system. The Kennedy Case Watershed Restoration Committee as a nonprofit obviously has to partner with a number of groups in order to attain the resources to complete such restoration projects. Um, this project, our bioengineering restoration project on the Kennedy Case Watershed, has been partnered with the Atlantic Salmon Conservation Foundation. Environment Canada's Eco Action Program, the New Brunswick Environmental Trust Fund, the New Brunswick Wildlife Trust Fund, as well as some both federal and provincial student subsidy programs to get the uh, human resources needed to complete this project. Uh, we want to send out a big thanks to those partners and, and community volunteers that have come out and helped us on, complete this work as well. 
Uh, without a strong community, uh, we wouldn't be able to continue our work and, and our efforts on restoring the Kennebecasia watershed back to its natural and pristine conditions.